What's up guys, Barry Game here, back on the Lights Army account. You know what, something I haven't checked in a while, and I probably should as a little bit of an update here. Oh lord, of course somebody had to go and do something stupid like that. Well, looks like it's a good time to retake our Lights Army spot, potentially, I don't know. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so we kind of need to grab out some food heroes here we need to take our spot back and we need to take it back probably with quite a bit of building the issue here and why we lost our positioning is because we actually took the time and built more transcendence heroes and tenants and stuff and some of those light heroes disappeared so we do in fact need to make more six stars and everything because we, we got to keep our title especially for what we're about to do here so we got to go one two three four five six and then that should be able to be multiple 10 stars in reality should have enough food i think it might just not be prioritizing uh the actual heroes we want to build so like if we jump down here and we build like some michelles yeah it should be plenty so uh we do need to take back our spot and we can do it simply by just throwing a bunch of 10 stars in because 10 stars count as a single 10 pointer i think that's enough to tie us up right there and then we should be able to continue to make even more uh it would probably be better if i made more e5 heroes but at the same time that is kind of time consuming and i kind of don't want to do that <laughs> so oh uh, we could make some faith blades it looks like too so even here we could like make one two three we can make three more i bet we can make three more no only one more there okay so let's go ahead and let's just make a couple other 10 stars we'll make like a faith blade because we can just literally cannibalize the faith blade copies as well so that's not too big of an issue and uh, da, 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 da. let's do these like that right yeah that should be good so that'll give us enough points it is going to take a little bit of time for us to update but i will maintain this i am going to constantly be looking at you bemeth yeah people just trying to keep very gaming keck people are trying for it they're trying for my title but let's talk about the big thing here today oh yeah i forgot we actually still have to do a lot of things for the event too anyway let's jump over here let's show you guys what we're working with so last time earlier today i kind of showed you guys how time consuming the soul gathering statue is how many insane amount of stats it gives you this is the big before and after moment so i'm gonna grab a screenshot of this right here because this is our current attack value this is running like a skill attack stone it's not even running like anything's attack oriented which would give us a huge boost because one thing you have to remember now is with this new system here the more raw stats we get the more those multipliers are going to stack this up so we're gonna go from let's actually just put this in the calculator i'm gonna I'm going to do the exact math here. 929, 629. Okay, so 62 million attack. We are going to be going in here and we're going to be finalizing this. I actually got a little bit too much. So we, we, we will be able to put something on other heroes. We're going to invest everything we have into this. So that is almost doubling. I mean, not quite. It's like what 70 percent boost here something like that uh we're getting all this extra attack so it doesn't sound like it's a lot 5110 attack doesn't sound like a lot but because we have so many multipliers you're about to see the craziness of this stat and reality uh we could just throw the rest here now here's a question for you before we even move on forward should we also get enough stats to max him out because he's 5160 which means we need another 5100 i mean i could buy up a ton of copies again and put them into this hero and then we could maybe even do it again because still we have 90,000. so we spent about what 38 so we'll just say roughly 40,000 per hero to max them out granted these become less and less because like the a minus tiers don't take much at all uh, it's all about the quality of the copy of the mo total amount of stats you can put in you see like right here that's not much oh that's a question actually i don't know if putting stats into a tenant also increases it that might be something we do instead so big bonus route so 62 million 929 up to 74 million 120 that is a huge gain 74 120 we gained 11 million 190 thousand 432 attack that is a crazy crazy amount that's like what almost a 20 percent gain somewhere in that ballpark pretty close to it it's probably like a 17 18 percent gain in overall attack value and our hp now is almost up to 8 billion with a b yes 8 billion 
That is a crazy high amount of stats. Holy cow. That is so crazy. So I guess here's a question. I want to take a look at something. So in order to really see if we're going to get our bang for a buck and have a crazy overpowered hero, I think I want to now invest more into the EOS that we have here because EOS is going to be used. Oh man, I didn't even think about this. I don't even have a flag on her. Holy, I don't even have gear properly on here. Oh, there's so many improvements I can do with this. She does have attack, attack stone, but we need a transcendence flag because honestly, she's not surviving anyway. What does that do? 74, eight. That's not a huge difference, all things considered. It actually really isn't that big of a deal. So just leaving a crown on her is not that huge of a change. But, so now that we have this new number, our new number is 74120061. We now need to see if we put stats in here on our tenant, which is you. Oh, wait, I already put it on the Yorm Tome, didn't I? Yeah, I got to take it back off. I take it off you, throw it onto you. Does that increase our Doom Terminator Vulcan stats as well? It does. My goodness, it does. Holy cow. That just added an additional 32,000 attack. And that was like nothing that we threw on that hero. Do we make one overpowered hero? 49. What's that? Divided by 49. So basically every point here is equal to 665 attack. So if I multiply 665 by 2681... That's an another additional like 2 million attack we can get by putting the power on her. And then beyond that, we should probably also put it on the tenant here too, which isn't a ton. But again, should we do that? Let, I need your guys' input on this. This is the whole point. I want to show you guys the massive power games. Do we go with another hero that we use and increase their stats? Or do we go with their tenants and just make this Doom Terminator Vulcan like the craziest we possibly could? I mean, the other thing we could do is we could try to keep upgrading the copy as well. So if you guys don't know, we could try to just upgrade our actual copy itself. Nope, not you. Not you. You. Uh, we could just get more stats. Which could increase his attack overall as well. But I feel like it's better investment doing the statue at this point. I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, the other thing is you could always just buy like an S tier Vulcan or something like that. Or I guess even uh, a higher tier SSS. So we could go with something crazy high for 150. We'd have to re-roll it. But like that's 9,200 versus 79. That's, that's no 1,300. Probably not worth it. We'd have to sell this copy, then buy another copy. And that could be risky how that works out. But that's insane. Bam, 74 million attack. Holy cow, he's going to start destroying stuff. And hey, maybe we need to join a guild now and have fun with him in Star Expedition to see what he can do. Let me know what you guys think. We are going to continue to power up this account. And I think we're going to hyper-focus everything on the Doom Terminator Vulcan. Even though we have like all these other heroes and everything, we're mainly going to be focusing here. Which probably also means we need to really, really get the best tenant copies possible. Because some of these are kind of lacking a little bit. We need to just get the best attack rolls possible. Luckily, this one had a really solid A tier. So, uh, might need to go back through. Might need to get, like, better copies that are really pushing the envelope. So, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one today. This is going to be, like, the one day we do Soul Gathering Statue out of, like, the year of it being opening. So hopefully you guys enjoyed to see what type of power gains you can get. Uh, the only other thing that we do need to continue doing here is just, you know, as we get time and more resources, we can keep upgrading this stuff and we'll keep upgrading this as we get time as well. We're going to need more resources. Um, we're really close, like really, really close from all the AFK stuff we've been doing. Uh, it seems like it's adding up pretty good and then we'll have to get more chests as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.